Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's video. Uh, it's going to be about my plan of action, or POA for short, and this is just a discussion in depth of, uh, and basic rundown of what my plan is now um, with this YouTube channel, but also my life in general. So uh, you'll see me referring to my phone and looking down at my phone. What you're seeing is literally just my uh, notion uh, setup of the where I've written down the plan of action. I'm pretty sure I will put this on the screen somewhere as well, so you'll be able to see it in real time um, of me scrolling and whatever, whatnot. But yeah, let's start. Um, phase one is the first phase. Of that, that first phase, obviously. What else would it be? So this is the research phase, uh, and this is obviously just researching as much as possible about anxiety, men's mental health, antidepressants, and the physical, mental, and social effects on anxiety. Um, and to be a bit more in-depth about that, I've already done an abundance of research on anxiety in general, obviously, through not only just um, doing research on it, but experiencing it firsthand. So I'm quite well aware and adapt adept of you know, my way around anxiety and what causes it and and uh, ways to manage it. But I would like to, you know, uh, I guess, broaden my horizons, if you will, and learn more about how that affects men in general, because that is the niche that I would like to go down. And, you know, because I'm a man, I would like to help other men because, you know, statistically, um, it, it's, you know, it's insane that the amount of men who don't feel like they can talk about their problems, it's... It's a, very, it's a it's an issue. It's a huge issue. It's 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 anything bigger than anything else, you know, that's going on. And I really think it's something that needs to be addressed. And I think that, as someone who's experienced it and learned how to manage their anxiety and their mental health, I feel like I am the right person who is able to hopefully impact uh, your life and and help you and benefit you. So yeah, I'm going to do a lot of research on men's mental health in particular, especially antidepressants and how physical, mental and social well-being and effects can help or hinder your anxiety. Uh, I will also be creating thought-provoking and educational YouTube videos about men's mental health and self-improvement, which, as you can see, this medium is what I'm doing right now. Um, obviously, this is just, as I said, it's just a discussion on my actual plan of action. Mainly, this is to keep me my, myself accountable but also just to uh, let you guys know what I'm doing here. So yeah, that is going to be, it's gonna be one video per week. Um, and if I fail and uh, don't do that, we're not gonna let that happen. So that's, that's basically the first phase and I'm doing that currently. I've read uh, a lot of books now. I've read um, Getting Past Your Past by Francine Shapiro, which I highly recommend to anyone who is curious about EMDR therapy, because uh, I will speak about it a lot, especially in videos but also my course and my book. Um, and yeah, it's it's a big thing that's changed my life for the better, just mentally, not in terms of anxiety, but just in every asset of life. So phase two is a weird one, uh, it's Japan. Uh, so I'm actually going to Japan in uh, late February next year, and I will be on 60 milligrams of Prozac. Uh, and I'm on that because I wanna make sure that I go over there and I ensure that I have a stable and nice trip because you know if i were to try and start weaning off of my antidepressants i don't think it would be very much of a good thing to do if i was in a foreign country 
you know, without that support system around me. Um, you know, and it, just to ensure that I have an enjoyable trip. And so as I've stated, I think I may have stated before, but on this channel, but living in Japan is something that I would really like to do at some point in the future, whether that be retiring over there or having a holiday house over there and being able to visit. I know this sounds like crazy goals, but this is it's just who I am. Like that's, that's the type of goals that I'm talking about here. So I want to go over there and it's, it is as much as it is like a vacation. It is more to decide if Japan is the place for my future lifestyle or is it just a place that I would like to visit uh, as a holiday so where you know I don't own a house over there and I don't fly there I just go there a few times a year as a visit um, and obviously just a reminder for myself to not lose sight of my vision you know I'll be reading and recording a lot of content in Japan and I'll edit a lot of posts once I'm back at home so just so you know there won't be weekly uploads during this time so that's from February the end of February 2023 through to March the end of March 2023 but there will be an influx of content once I do get home because well obviously I would have recorded a lot and yeah I'll just talk about my experience in Japan and I hope that will interest you and yeah anyway phase three this isn't stuff really begins to happen um phase three I will detox and this is when I slowly wean off my antidepressants right now I am on 60 milligrams of Prozac also known as fluoxetine I've been on this for for seven or eight years so it's a long time um, and this is obviously a very not scary thing to do. I'm completely sure that I'm ready to do this, but I think regardless of whether or not you're ready or not, you know, there's never going to be that perfect time. And this is the thing that has been said to me before, you know, if not now, when, you know, and it's very true. And at this point in my life, I'm the best mentally that I've ever been in my entire life. And I think that now or soon now, would be the perfect time to start weaning off and getting off of antidepressants once and for all. So I'll take capsules as well as dispersal tablets. So this is in order for me to go from 60 milligrams to like 55 or 50 instead of doing the capsules, which would be from 60 to 40, which is obviously quite a big difference in uh, milligrams and would cause a lot of the withdrawal symptoms to be more severe and, you know, just not a fun time. Uh, I'm going to record the entire process and post it all on YouTube um, weekly, if not probably multiple times per week because, you know, I'll need something, an outlet of sort to, to uh, showcase how I'm feeling and I think that that will be really beneficial to other men who are on antidepressants wishing to come off of antidepressants and, you know, to just see that it is possible. Um, I'm going to be working out an insane amount. Not that I'm not working out or having a strict diet now, I'm just saying it will be like monk mode type of thing where it's just like constant constant thing i do a partly a dopamine detox where i won't be on my phone as much deleting social media all that sort of thing um and this is obviously inspired by hamza as well as monk mode by iman gaji um and i say partly because you know i will be uploading on youtube but i don't think i'll have any, any social media like instagram facebook etc etc now once i'm completely off of antidepressants that is when i can head into phase four which is write, publish, and succeed. So this is when I'll complete the uh, writing the book and the e-course. Uh, sorry, the e-book and the course. Uh, and you know this is going to be called Nobody Is Going to Save You: A Counterintuitive Guide to Managing Your Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Um, and I will write this for men, uh, specifically men on antidepressants who wish. Or not even, even if you're not on antidepressants, just to show the fact that you don't have to be on antidepressants in order to manage your anxiety. And I know this is very counterintuitive and in a sense contradictory to what I'm saying now because... <coughs> Bailey, I'm gonna kill ya! Uh, this is very contradictory to what I'm saying, right, because I am on antidepressants. But I'm fully aware of that and so that's why I'm not writing this book until I am off antidepressants and I can really, really like understand and appreciate what I can do um, to manage my anxiety and mental health in general. I'll be, you know, market all YouTube videos towards the course, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then I'll create ClickFunnels website, advertisements and continue with mentorship. And this is when I will start my mentorship. Uh, I had a recent uh, conversation with a few friends about 
mentorship because I started it in the previous video, but I've decided to stop that because I am not ready for that yet. And also I would like to build a community first. I think that's more important. Phase five, which is pretty exciting. It's the financial freedom part. So my goal is honestly, and this is scary, but it is the truth. It is to earn $10,000 per month via the course, mentorships and revenue from YouTube. I'm going to leave my part-time cafe job as a barista. I'll pursue coaching full-time while expanding the business and I'll move to apartments in Docklands, which is just a suburb in uh, the city where I'm from, Melbourne. And it's near the city and it's gorgeous and that's that's the goal. Like that, that's my that's my goal. So yeah, $10,000 a month um, and this, this is how I'm going to do it. Basically just keeping myself accountable through this plan. So what can you expect in terms of videos moving forward? Well, I'm going to be sharing a lot of tips and things like that about how, what's helped me thus far in terms of my mental health journey. Um, obviously, like I said, I am, um, I am on ang uh, anxiety, antidepressants. So, but I've found, and this is a scary and hard to swallow truth, maybe for some of you, that the natural remedies for uh, managing anxiety are far more superior than the antidepressants that you're on. The antidepressants are merely a band-aid fix to what you're going through. They mask your symptoms. They do not get rid of them and they do not get to the root of your anxiety and your mental health issues. Okay, so now we have that out of the way. I just wanted to let you all know what, what page we're on with that. Uh, I'm going to be doing a series, maybe, I don't know, I'll title it like, Is It BS? And I'm going to be doing a bunch of things like affirmations, meditation, working, uh, w walking, sorry, working out, uh, journaling, etc., etc., just to show you my experience. Like, a lot of them I already do. I do already do meditation and journaling, etc., working out. But I more just an in-depth thing of how, what I do, how it's helped me, and how you can implement that into your life, whether you are on antidepressants at the moment or not. Because I feel like you can always be better you know you can always push to be a better version of yourself especially mentally and that all starts with your thoughts and mindset and these uh, practices the natural things that you can do will help that uh, yeah so that's that's where we're going thus far I know this has probably been a really long video I apologize but yeah uh, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching the video uh, if you haven't already make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe I know it's really cringe but please it will help me out a lot and also I've created a community on Discord, uh, a Discord community rather, and you can click on that and you can talk to me on there about any issues that you have and we can, basically I want to create a community where we have this big whole large uh, community of people who can you know, share what they're going through and discuss about ways that we can help each other as men. So that is the goal of that Discord community. Um, all the links will be below in the description and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you next time. Oh, I almost forgot my tea. All right. That went well.